Hello. Я watching one tourist blog and it's like a new season. It's a summer outside, good weather and nice time to build my van. And in this video I will show you uh, how I will build a big size bed transformer uh, from the wood and uh, like screws and metal. And uh, I have a big plan how I want my bed to look. And I will show you full process uh, from uh, empty, empty space to finish it bed. So let's watch and have fun. First uh, idea was a build a uh, bed that uh, will have long side uh, across the van but uh, when I measure it uh, it was uh, too short for me so it was about 1 meters and 75 centimeters about it and uh, my height is uh, 1 and 85 so it's just too short for me and then uh, I have no choice to build a really big bed, uh, two meters long, uh, on the side of the van, and one uh, meter seventy-five across the van. So the bed area uh, will be there uh, on in the end of the van, and it will be transformable to two big benches with a table between it. So it's like a dinner lounge area with uh, uh, open doors so you can sit there and enjoy the view uh, of work on the table and you can, can shut, shut the doors and have, uh, have a good lounge uh, area to watch uh, TV or something. So how I will do this? Uh, on the each side of the van there will be a big bench uh, 60 centimeters wide from the side and 2 meters long so same there uh, under this side it will be my electrical system and uh, I have a space to put something there too and little space there and uh, there will be my water, water tank that I will show a little later <laughs> and I think to put there uh, my another water equipment like uh, water pump, uh, water accumulator and uh, maybe other stuff and uh, if I still will have some space I will figure out what I could put there so uh, because uh, uh, you try to use all the space you have in the van because it's uh, not much space you want to waste of your life area Here you can uh, see uh, all the wood I made for my bed, and this is my plan. for my bed, and this is my plan for one one uh, side of the bed. So this this bench with the top it's uh, will be there. It's the first side I construct. So I have all measures it's not not very good engineer plan but i think it will work so at first when i uh, made a plan and uh, cut my wood to made uh, this side uh, it was a little lower that then i um, about about this this eight and then i bought this bad boy this, this, this. This is a uh, 150 uh, liters water tank. It's a PVC plastic water tank with a giant, oh, wow, giant uh, cap, and it's very big. It's a kind of heavy. It's a very good structure with uh, uh, ribs to. To keep it uh, steady, and after I bought this, uh, it it was a 
perfect size. It was a perfect size for my for my conversion. It was a perfect size for long side. It's about uh, 750 centimeters uh, millimeters, and uh, side was about uh, 50 centimeters. So only problem was a height that was. Uh, 10 centimeters more uh, than I planned to have space under my bed. So I uh, scrap uh, scrap all the wood I cut that uh, was uh, wrong height for now, and I made all the new one. And I I happy that I uh, didn't build the bed before I get this tank uh, because. Uh, then I need to disassemble my bed completely and uh, build a new one. So all things is ready. It's uh, for one bench. It just has uh, twenty, yeah, exactly twenty parts of this. I marked uh, marked all my wood with numbers uh, that uh, show his heads and some of them had uh, words to describe where I need to put it or even numbers that uh, shows on this scheme. It's very important, believe me, uh, do the same because uh, you just uh, about cut some wood and uh, on the next day you will see uh, what the hell is this? where I need to put it, it's all the different size because you need this and you need this so I have uh, all 20 pieces from one of the side of my bed and now I will try to put it together and show you the result hey, it's the next day and uh, I halfway finished one of my side of the bed and I want to show you it's uh, in construction, so you can see how it built uh, before it finished. So mostly I built it with a uh, 40 by 30 millimeters uh, plain wood, wooden blocks. So it's very steady. Uh, I used uh, many of these metal plates with uh, screws, you see, and also. Uh, like this, uh, metal corners, this one, and here you can see this big one too. Uh, it's a very good way because uh, if you put just one screw to connect wood one to another, uh, it's uh, it's not enough. It's, it will wiggle, uh, and that if you put two to the side. Uh, it may crack, so this metal helpers helps a lot. So uh, I tried to use uh, maximum space of my van. Uh, you, you can see, so uh, I move it slightly up to the end of the van. So I win here about four centimeters. It's, it's still it's still nicely close so you can see uh, I have some space between <coughs> basically it's a uh, three layers of construction so floor rail it's uh, connected to the floor through my wood uh, wooden floor and play wood under under this floor um, about two and a half centimeters and not drilled through metal so it's insulated from the outside uh, it's uh, not uh, through hole there so uh, to have access to the bed uh, from the top <coughs> I built uh, this layer so I can move it with this hinge um, you can see I put it uh, in strange place, not on the corners in, in the center, but there, there, in there, uh, because uh, there it is a metal 
uh, cage of the van like this, this and there. So now I will put final layer. It's a layer of uh, plywood, planes, uh, like this one, to make uh, ribs, so bed ribs, uh, to put mattress on. Uh, to make it like real bad <laughs> Basically the things it's a uh, it was a big plywood sheet uh, about 10 uh, millimeters wide and uh, it's uh, about one meter and a half and one meter and a half square so uh, in the store uh, they cut for me this size of the plywood and uh, it's uh, 9 centimeters wide that I asked it to do and then I make these cuts uh, so I made these smaller sticks and they will come here and made cage like this something like this it look looks like real bit you know so um, how I cut this I bought uh, very nice I very recommend it uh, so it's a cutter so cutter I don't know how it's called sorry uh, so it's a very cheap one but it's a Bosch. I was surprised. It's about 50, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks. So it's not very powerful. It's uh, not has uh, speed regulation, but it does its job and very very fine cuts. So it's very good for all the wood things. And a uh, huge pain was uh, sanding all the corners because uh, I don't want to make it uh, like this and then. Uh, to cut something or it will be wood scratch so I send it nicely on the corners uh, with my multi-tool here it is yeah basically it's nice choice for sending uh, even even with this tool this is very good for sending uh, it was huge pain I just did half uh, and decided to record uh, this video to take a break so what I want to say more uh, there will be my water tank and there will be a water pump uh, and maybe water heater and water accumulator on oh, these things the things it's very very cheap um, decoration planes I don't know so basically it's a uh, paper uh, it's pressed pressed paper there and uh, little little um, layer of uh, like PVC printed color I don't know but it's pretty steady and very cheap it uh, was about five bucks for three of these it's uh, uh, it has locks to put one to another uh, I can show you there so it's like this sorry for focus wow yeah so like this yep so it's uh, very easy to put together and it's, it's not very very steady but it's uh, just a decoration material it's nice looking very nice like like wood you know uh, it was very cheap about five bucks for all of this and so I have two more of uh, these packs and uh, I plan to go and buy more 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 because it's very nice to put it at least uh, in the place that are uh, like technical space <coughs> there I put it because I finished all the insulation um, on this side so I put it and uh, it will be 
closed forever. I will not open it, I hope, any moment later. So, what else? I think that's all for now. I will finish, do the ribs. Um, and also I will use these covers to cover all the sides of my bed. Because it's, a, it's very nice. And I need to send more of these things. And I will do it now and put it uh, there. Oh, also, um, I calculate what the space I need between um, all the things. It's a simple formula. And here you can see ta -da -da -da, special effects. I am done with the first part of the bed. It turns out great, uh, very smooth and very straight and extremely steady uh, not moving around uh, it opens nicely as I planned to have access to all the down side of the bed so I can work with uh, my water equipment down there this, this plain wood is very very nicely uh, dealing with the weight so you can sit uh, on just one or two of these and it's uh, not going to crack and going very well so uh, it just now you can sit on this bench or, and it feels great to have one in the van uh, here, in, at this part, I make it uh, steel, not going up with the top, because it's a cur curved uh, section here, so it's uh, kind of uh, hard to make all the uh, way going up, but it's not necessary, uh, this is more than enough for me. So now I have to construct exactly copy of this thing but on the other side of the van and let's go it's new weekend and i continue of building of my bed so uh, you can see here i made all the wood that i need to build a frame like this but on this side and also i cut all the plain wood uh, that makes these ribs and also I sand, sanded it, so it's nice and smooth, very lovely. And I want to give you also a little small advices uh, that I found find out during the process. I'm not a professional woodworker and maybe some of this uh, will be obvious to you, but for novice uh, builders like me, it uh, will be very useful and handy, so let's check it out. And first one I want to show you is how to fix your wood planes you want to cut, so it will be steady and uh, not moves around while you cut, and uh, you will make a smooth, straight, lovely cuts. So I bought these clamps. It's a very hard to squeeze and I make this one and one more and uh, this base uh, frame is screwed to the floor so it's a very steady and not moves around uh, at all and with these two just two clamps I can fix this stick and it not moves at all if you can see I will try it very hard. It's very nice. So this is first way uh, you can fix your wood to cutting, and next way it's a uh, basically it's similar, but with this thing, it uh, very easy to operate. You can just not with one hand, but okay, yeah. 
So uh, this part it moves around on this, and it has little little teeth here. Uh, so when you screw it, it's very good fixing, very nice. So you can cut your wood without any problem if you have some frame to fix it. Also, these clamps may be varied size, like middle, middle size, big size, middle size. It's a, this can cover about 80 millimeters. This is about 50. And this small cute one, only for this side, maybe 40. 40 is nice, maybe 50. Showing to you some of the process. So I made this piece with beautiful hole for my wiring, and uh, I made this piece, uh, bottom piece, not very precision, but it's fine. And now I want to put a new line of decorative panel. It's perfect, exactly 3 meters, it's a distance from there to there, so no cutting for this, and I need a little cut there to make it sit down on the wheel, and little cutting there, because this is my wiring going, and I need to make it more space. And that's all. Uh, and next, next thing for good cuts is this one. Uh, it may be looks uh, like a triangle or maybe another way, but basically it's a very precise square. Uh, angle so if you want to cut like there you put it put it near near your wood and this line will be very good straight and exactly 90 degrees angle very nice for cutting this thing is very important if you want you work like this, this straight and nice. And let's talk about jigsaw machines. As I say, I got this one, cheapest Bosch jigsaw. Uh, it has still nice features. So it has an air blower that you can turn on and off. It blows wood pieces from the cut. So it's very clear to see uh, where you're going. It's very nice, nice feature. So also it has a fast change lock. You just pull it up and uh, pull out the saw blade and insert another and it's just simple like this but it's not very reliable, reliable as I hear so I hope it will last long for me uh, so because it's the cheapest uh, saw it's not very powerful and uh, it has just on off switch without uh, speed changing but it's working very nice and um, if you building a one conversion I highly recommend got one of these tools 
because it will help you a lot um, in wind conversion you work with wood like all the time because you build everything with the wood basically so you can build thing like this bench for about five days with manual tools three days with bed tools and for one day with this tool I can say I cut all this wood and all this wood this one and one and uh, here another pile of wood just about two hours Top. also for this saw you can have various type of blades for wood and for metal so basically you can cut everything with this uh, some blades make faster cuts but uh, it will be not very good and uh, not very fine and uh, blade like this make fine cuts and it's still pretty fast for my job and I use this one so highly recommend get one of these and you will build your van like five times faster Also, I forgot to say, I run it directly from my inverter. This is a 2 kilowatts inverter I installed on other video. I put link here. And this is inverter and my batteries. I can run this thing for hours without any problem. And you know, I invested a lot in my electrical system, but it's starting to pay back because uh, if I want to buy a battery jigsaw for good one it cost me 300 bucks and this one 50 bucks so I already got some my cash back kind of because I have good electrical system feels good Also, safety. All the time you work with your power tools like this one, drills and sanding machines like this. I highly recommend you to wear at least glasses. You, you saw I got the fancy one. It's a, it's a stylish. And it, it feels really comfortable, about 5 minutes and you just don't notice uh, you wear something. It's very clear and nice and it costs about 5 bucks, so please wear this. And gloves. This glove is a laser glove, it's the best type of working gloves. So, you have this and your skin is protected highly recommended please safety first you really 
uh, it's not nice to travel in a van without your eyes and hands. Thank you. And finally, this side of bed frame finished too. So basically, this side is exactly copy of this side. It opens to uh, as this one. Only difference is uh, this one took me about uh, half a year to build, and this about a week. Yeah, lot of difference. So it is experience, right tools, and experience again. When you know all the measures and types of wood you need, this it's very fast to build. So there you can see it's a uh, decorative panels under the bed and a little on top of the bed. So exactly like this. Thank you for watching. I end bed construction video now uh, because I really have uh, plenty things to do with the bed. Uh, ordering mattresses, I may be thinking about raising the floor because when uh, you sit uh, on high uh, bench like this, uh, you can't reach the floor, the ground, so it's not very comfortable. So I think maybe raising the floor a bit. And uh, also, you can see, I now can sit <laughs> to record this video. It's a very nice thing to have uh, some place to sit and put your things in a van. Because uh, when you van, it's uh, just metal can. Uh, it's uh, very annoying to put all the things on the floor. And my bags was in big pain all the time. So. Also, I need to construct some kind of table that also will be my middle section of the transformable bed uh, to transform it to the king size bed and plenty of things to do also but uh, for this part of uh, I call it uh, bed frame construction that's ends I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it more fun and action interactive uh, with uh, some kind of uh, useful information you can have and even uh, add bloopers uh, section at the end so you can see it uh, this after this message. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will continue to construct my bed in the future videos and uh, we'll make uh, other videos I have in mind and in recording some of this right now so uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, see other my videos and my future videos too thank you and bye
and the first one I want to show you is how to steady so it's the first um, first way first way and next let let's let <laughs> wow why something like this for when conversion because uh, is it church bells oh my god um this blade can has some various of blades this blade Also, I show only one glove because I didn't know where the other one. Found it on the other side. It's uh, nicely putting here this thing. No. And this side by fair finish. Finish. What? Before. And little secret, when I show uh, for you end of construction one the side of the bed, actually other side of the bed was constructed too because I just lost the footage I <laughs> recorded for this part. I don't know where it is or is it is it recorded? It really I don't remember. So I fake it <laughs> and show you that. I done just one part, but it uh, was second part done already. Sorry for that, but uh, it's a movie, you know, Gollywood style. All the fake. But this is real. This is real and I'm real. And I will make it when real. Thank you for watching.